Hey there, and welcome to Facial Features Section 5. We're going to be working with lips. All right, we got some cool stuff to do here. Let's go ahead and start off with Flurn Retouch 26.jpg. I'm going to hit F to full screen, and we're going to go ahead and zoom in. All right. Now, in this section, we're going to be going over making the line around the lips just a little bit cleaner. Let me just grab a nice green there. All right, so we're working with the line right here around the lips. We're just going to clean that up a little bit and we're going to show you how to change the color of the lips as well all right so let's start off with cleaning up our line now we're going to be using the pen tool so let's hit p for the pen tool and i'll give you a brief little uh, demonstration on how this works basically you just click and drag in the direction that you want your pen path to travel and as you drag around you'll see you're able to create these curves Okay, now this is basically our pen path here. I love the pen tool because it allows you to change any of these points at any time. If I hold the control or the command key down, I can click on any one of these points and move it around. I can click on these control points and move them as well. And I can click right here on the line and move that too. All right, if I need to create an angle, instead of holding down control, I'm gonna hold down alt or option and click on one of these points and now you can see I have an angle, okay? I've got this angle there. All right, now pen paths are stored over here. You have layers, channels, and paths. They're stored here in paths. It's always gonna be a work path when you first start. So if you have a path that you like, be sure to double click on it and name it. For now, we're gonna go ahead and delete this work path. Okay, so using that same idea, we're gonna go in here with our pen tool and we're gonna follow along the lips. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay, we're gonna start up right around here. All right. Bring this right down there. And close out right there in the bottom corner of that. All right, now we're gonna hold Alt or Option, bring that over here to create a little bit of a corner, and there we go. We're going to go along down the bottom line of the lips now, Control or Command to click on that, and we're going to continue to follow along with the lip line. All right, now we'll just go up and finish our selection. So we're just basically creating a selection right around the lips. It's going to clean it up a little bit. All right. Now the bottom looks pretty good. Um, just need a little bit of work right here. All right, so we're gonna hold the control or the command key down. There we go. All right, there we go. Okay, now it's time to make a selection. Let's go ahead and save our work path. Let's call this lips. I'm gonna right click here and go down to make a selection. Now we're gonna feather this by about two pixels. Now, just to be sure that the two pixels is actually what we want, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this whole section with a color. Let's hit Alt or Option Delete. That's gonna fill with my foreground color. I'm gonna hit Control or Command H and that's just gonna give me a good idea of the feathering here for the edge and that looks pretty good sometimes you can if you don't feather it the edge will be like too clean and then it won't look real all right so let's just undo that and let's go make sure we're at make selection two pixels there we go all right now on a new layer we can see that we actually are going to be painting inside of the selection so if we want to paint outside of the selection we'll go to select and then down here to inverse now it's painting outside of our selection Okay, now what my job is to use my clone stamp tool and sample outside of the lips and then paint right up to the border. And this is just gonna take care of any little areas that we have where the lipstick kind of like ran over just a little bit. Now if I wanna see what I'm doing a little bit better, I'm gonna hold Control or Command H and that's going to hide my selection. The selection is still active by the way, it's just hidden so it's not in the way. All right, and now I'm simply clone stamping from the outside in to my image. 
There we go. From the outside in. And that's just cleaning up our line for the lips. There we go. Very nice. We'll do it from the top here as well. Okay. And come all the way in. All right. That looks pretty dang good. Now, what we're going to do is go from the inside out. So, we're going to go to select and then down to inverse again. So now we're painting in the inside of the selection. All right, let's hit Control or Command H to hide that, and I'm going to create a new layer. So now we are going to clone stamp from the inside out. There we go, and that's going to allow us to firm up our line a little bit. All right, there we go. And it may not be necessary everywhere, but some places it will be. All right. Beautiful. And this is also a good chance to get rid of any little blemishes and things like that that you may see. All right, very nice. So there's our lips cleaned up quite a bit. All right, so let's look at the before and the after with that. All right, looking good. Now we wanna make sure that, you see how some of these like little dots and things like that, that actually added quite a bit to the, uh, to the image, to, to the realism of it. So what we're gonna do is I'll deselect. Let's go ahead and group those two layers, okay? And then I'm gonna put a layer mask on that group. And now I'm just going to paint black right here along the border just to be sure that we do have some of that original detail back in. Again, it's kind of like we went all the way with this, like we defined exactly what we wanted the edge to be and now we're kind of like toning it back just a little bit to make it look a little bit more realistic. All right, and you can use a nice soft brush for this. All right, you can see how that looks a lot more realistic. Alt or Option. Click on our layer mask, and that's what it looks like. And then if I Shift click on the layer mask, there's a before and the after. So here we go. That's cleaning up our lips, but still making everything look really nice and realistic. This over here. All right, looking good. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is work on the color of the lips. So you can do this in a lot of ways. My favorite way is to use the color balance adjustment layer. So let's go back to our paths. I'm gonna right click here and say make selection. Why not? We already defined where the lips are gonna be, right? I'm gonna grab an adjustment layer and we're gonna go down to color balance. All right, and now here we can work with our midtones. Okay, our shadows and our highlights. Now in this case, I'm not too concerned about the whites on the lips. I'm gonna show you a great way to take care of that in just a little bit. Basically, I just wanna get the lip color where I want it to be. All right, now in a lot of cases, and this one included, I don't really need the lip color to be that different from when it started. I just wanna show you guys how it how it works there. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna paint black on my layer mask over here because I don't need to be coloring the background. It doesn't, doesn't do me any good. I don't need to color the inside of her mouth either. All right, so let's say we just wanted to color it a little bit more yellow like that. All right, and with lips in general, you're not gonna be, generally they're gonna be like reddish, you know, like <laughs> a lot of, you're not gonna be running into like blue lips and stuff like that very often. Okay, that looks great. Now you can see we did change the color, but the highlight color looks a little bit messed up and that actually happens pretty often. So what we're gonna be doing is creating a new layer. I'm gonna use my brush tool and now we're just gonna paint with white right over top of the lips, just like this. 
And we're gonna use blend if to make this just visible where the highlights are. So alt or option, click from left to the right. All right. Very nice. And let's just lower the opacity a little bit there. And that way we have a nice white highlight on top of our lips. All right. And if I want to go in here with the highlights again, I'll just put a little less green in there. Control that as well. Beautiful. So there we have our lips are cleaned up. <laughs> there we go. Our lips are cleaned up as well as colored. Beautiful. All right, let's switch to our next image. In this image, we're going to be duplicating our background and I'm gonna select around my lips and hit Shift Command X. I just wanna straighten these up a little bit. You can see the top lip looks great, very symmetrical. The bottom lip has a larger side on the right than it does on the left. So we're just gonna use our forward warp tool to kind of just pull this down a little bit. That happens all the time. People don't have perfectly symmetrical faces. Oh, well, most people don't anyway. All right, there we go. So a little liquify helps that out quite a bit. Here's the before and the after with that. All right, beautiful. Next, we're gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna go in here with my healing brush tool and we're gonna sample some areas and just kinda do a little bit of retouching here. These lips are pretty good actually, so we don't have to do a whole lot. And generally, lips are not like <laughs> the focus of whatever I do in Photoshop. You know, there's, I don't spend a ton of time retouching lips. All right, that looks really good. Now, if you are doing a little bit of retouching, grab your curves adjustment layer. We're gonna bring this a little bit brighter. Okay, I'm gonna hit Control or Command I. And then there are areas that we wanna focus on um, for making a little bit lighter. Generally, we wanna focus on this lip line here, make that a little bit lighter. We want the lip line right in here to be a little bit lighter. And oftentimes I'll lighten this up a little bit because it'll be interesting to do so. And generally down here, we want that to be darker. All right, so here we've made it a little bit lighter. On our layer mask now, we're gonna paint white right over top of these areas. Now in this case, this lip already has a really nice highlight there, so it's not totally necessary, but we're just gonna paint white on our layer mask there. And we're gonna do the same right over here. That's just gonna help bring those areas. Again, nothing crazy, just a little bit brighter there. All right, and then we're gonna grab a curve adjustment layer. We're gonna bring that down a little bit. Hit Control or Command I on that layer mask. And then with a big soft brush, paint under the lips there. All right, and there our lips should stand out quite a bit more. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty great. Nice lips, man. All right, let's go ahead and group all those layers and then see the before and the after. You can see those lips look a lot better. They look like they've got more life and more depth in them. All right, and that's pretty much all we need to know for lips. So male lips and female lips, lipstick and no lipstick. All right, so here's the before and the after with that. Again, mostly cleaning up that line using the pen tool. That's the big one for that. And then here, we're doing some dodging and burning as well as some shaping. And those lips look, dang, they look really good. I just wanna give them a big smooch, smoocheroo. All right, guys, thanks so much. We'll see you in the next section.